parotid glands are the large salivary glands that are present on either side in front of the ear on the cheek the most common tumor of the parotid gland is the pleomorphic adenoma it's a benign tumor which comes in the gland which can slowly grow in size the treatment of this is a parotidectomy or removal of the gland the gland may be removed partially called a superficial parotid or it may removed completely called a total parotidectomy the most delicate or important structure that passes through this gland is the facial nerve this is a nerve to the face and in injury to this nerve causes drooping of one side of the face or paralysis of the face so preserving this facial function and the facial nerve is one of the most critical aspects of performing the parotid surgery conventionally parotid surgery is performed by incision which starts from in front of the ear goes down into the neck there are various modifications to this being a large incision in the front of the face and neck there have been various modifications to the incisions and the incisions have been reduced in size by various doctors we have performed a particular incision which is called the mini incision parotidectomy which is completely not visible the last 3 to 4 years we have been performing all types of parotid lesions by the mini incision parotidectomy the mini incision involves a 2 to 3 cm incision behind the ear there is no incision at all in front of the ear so it's behind the ear hidden behind this pinna and through this small 3 cm mini incision we are able to approach the parotid gland remove the tumor and the gland and preserve the facial function the advantages of a mini incision parotidectomy the foremost is definitely cosmosis as the incision is not going to be seen it's not at all visible after surgery in addition to this the other advantages being being a small incision the healing is faster the patient can be discharged immediately the next day and can resume normal work and also the quality of life of the patient improves